Many a times we blame Satan even when devil is innocent. Sometimes we, we cast out devil that never existed. We begin to cast out devil that even when we are praying, demons will be, may begin to ask themselves, is there any demon among us called so demons? Because they understand that they are not responsible for some of the evil we are seeing in life. Satan oppressed in darkness. So any bad thing that people see in their life, they attack the devil there. But I discovered that many things we attack Satan, that Satan is innocent in those things. So today we are talking about the person behind all the problems we are seeing in life. I want us to go to the book of Genesis, the beginning of the Bible. The Bible makes us to understand that God created Adam and put him in the Garden of Eden which God later removed one of his ribs and used it to create Eve. He formed Eve. And the Lord God Almighty gave them instruction and said, all the trees of the garden, all the fruit of the trees of the garden of this field, you may freely eat. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat it. And the Lord told them the consequences, if they do, that they will die. Number one thing I want to establish here is that devil is not the one that created death. Satan is not the one that created death. God himself created death. I want you to know that Satan is not a creator. Satan had never created anything. He is not a creator. So God himself created death. And that was the reason why God told Adam and Eve, all the fruits of the trees of the garden you may freely eat, but this particular one of tree of knowledge and good of evil, evil, thou shalt not eat it. Any day you try, you will surely die. Which means death was existing in the garden of Eden. But death was helpless and hopeless. Death was deathless, if I may use that word. Death was deathless that time. It cannot kill, it has no power, it has no sting, it has no power. So Adam and Eve. They are the one to empower death. They are the one to make death more powerful, to kill them. If they disobey the instruction God gave them, because God told them that, that any day you eat this tree, any day you eat the fruit of the tree, you will surely die. That is to say, any day you eat the fruit of the tree, you will activate death to kill you. So, after that, devil came and decided to deceive them. Look at what devil normally do in our life. Satan knows that he cannot bring punishment to us. Devil knows he cannot stop us anywhere. Devil knows he has no power to stop any man upon the earth. That the Almighty God is the one that has the power to, to punish us. God is the one that has the power to minister any evil to us. So, devil make sure, as I said, that every word of God has two sides. He has the side of blessing. And have also the side of cause. You have the side of favor. And also have the side of consequences called cause and evil. So now the only thing the devil will do, knowing that if we obey what God said, that we will experience the good side of that word of God. So what he will do is to make us to go contrary and do something contrary to what God said to disobey God. Because he know when he make us disobey God, he have achieved his target. He will rejoice and go and sleep, knowing fully well that God is faithful to carry out what he said. So when Adam and Eve ate the tree, ate the fruit God commanded them not to eat, devil was not the one that chased them out of the Garden of Eden. As you may know it, God was the one that drove them out, not devil. Satan have succeeded in making them to sin against God. Now waiting, maybe he carried shears sitting one side waiting to see what will be the, the action God will take when God returns. Because he knows that God is faithful. He will not change his word. This is what child, children of God never understand. That God is faithful. There are many wrong teachings that make people to think that Satan is powerful. That Satan can stop them. Satan can hinder them. But when you read scripture very well, you discover that Satan is helpless in your life, in your destiny. You are the one to submit your life to the devil. You are the one to say to Satan, take over my destiny. Frustrate me by violating the word of God. So when God, when God came back in the evening, God drove them out of the Garden of Eden. 
God drove them out of the garden of Eden. And the Lord God Almighty said to them, from today you will begin to till the ground. From today you will know what sorrow is all about. From today you will know what suffering is all about. From today you will know what death is all about. From today you will know what cause is all about. So they activated this realm because they choose to disobey God. Even you are watching this message right now, I want to tell you that all you are seeing in your life, in as much as you may be blaming Satan, Satan had no power to afflict you. Satan had no power to bring any sorrow to your life. Satan had no power to hinder your destiny, to stop your finance, to make you wretched, to make you poor. They will not have that power. It is what you choose. It is the word of God you are violating that is carrying out the consequence in your life. And any day you will choose to obey God in that area, you will discover that that consequences you are seeing right now will just stop and die natural death. In the book of First Chronicle, First Chronicle chapter twenty-one, verse one down. First Chronicle chapter twenty-one, from verse one down, the Bible makes us to understand about a man called David. The Lord said to Samuel, "I have found a man after my own heart," and that man happened to be a man called David. And the David did not know that the devil was so jealous of him. The devil was so angry. Why would God call him a man after his own heart? So the only thing the devil knew is to make sure that David will sin against God. So that that God that is busy, that was busy blessing him, that God that is favoring him, that God that is prospering him, that God that is providing for him, that God that, was, that is boasting with his name, will be against him. Look at what the Bible said here, that Satan pushed David to sin against God. Because God gave instruction that nobody should number the children of Israel. They will now push David to, went, to go ahead and number them. And you remember that when David did that, under three days, God himself decided to bring problem in the land. Because when David disobeyed God, the Lord sent a prophet to David and said, I am going to bring three evil in this land. Number one, either I allow children of Israel to experience hunger for three years. Number two, or I allow children of Israel to be defeated by their enemies for three months. Number three, or I, I punish you by myself for three days. So David look three years, three months, and three days. David issues that God will punish him. And the Bible said that the Lord will send the angel. And that angel, on that three days, the angel had killed 70,000 Israelites. 70,000 died. So now, that evil now, somebody can say, oh, Satan is the one that is killing these people. But it's not devil. It is the, the other side of God's word that he, David violated. Hear me. The word of God has two sides. They have the side of blessing and have the side of curse. If you obey God, you activate the side of blessing of God's word. If you disobey God, you activate the side of God's, the, the, the side of cause the world will generate to you. So devil never bring any sorrow. Devil never bring any or oh, any all this thing, any problem to if I may say it to mankind. It is the word of God that people have violated. It is the word that carry out its cause. It's the word that carry out the consequences. Because the Bible said that when you break the age, serpent will bite you. Serpent will bite you. And this is what the Lord wants to teach you on this platform. So that you will understand how helpless and how wretched and miserable, how weak Satan is. That it is your disobedience and your ignorance of who God is. And your ignorance of how God oppressed. And your ignorance of what it is to call God faithful. You don't know the meaning of God being called faithful. Faithful. Faithful is that. Why do God answer that name faithful? It's because if a man sin, God will never allow that man to go unpunished. God will make sure that the man is punished. And when a man do something to provoke God's favor, God will make sure that that man is blessed. That is the area. That is why God is called faithful. So if there is any consequences, if there is any evil you are seeing in your life now, 
I, I, I know that praying and fasting and I, I know that uh, uh, deliverance are going on in different ministries these days. Going to mountain, going to desert here and there. I believe God that God will deliver us. But there are many deliverance that you will deliver yourself. There are many things that is not from God, it's from you. Because you are the one that is causing those problems. You are the one that is violating the law of God. And that is why God told the children of Israel, he said to them, I will give you a pastor after my own heart. Because this pastor will feed you with knowledge. He will feed you with knowledge. He will feed you with knowledge. That is to say, he will make you to understand what, who God is and how God operates. This pastor will feed you with knowledge in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. I will give you a pastor after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge. And the word of God is saying in Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, my people, my children are perished because they lack knowledge. And what is that knowledge? They lack the knowledge of God's word. They lack the knowledge of who God is. They lack the knowledge of consequences of violating God's word. They lack the knowledge of the blessing attached in obeying God's word. So now, if there is any area of evil you are seeing in your life, find the word of God you are violating and begin to obey it. You will see that evil will die naturally, natural death. What am I saying today? The, the person behind our problem, the person behind all our sorrow, the person behind all our, our evil we are experiencing these days, it may not be devil, but it, it may be you. That is violating the word of God. It's you that is violating the word of God. May the blessings of God rest upon you. Don't forget, share this message to many people. And if there is any contribution you can offer, drop it, it is, is highly welcome. And forward it to many people. God bless you. See you next time. And bye for now.